In this video, I want to demonstrate how to use the thickness analysis tool. I'm a little concerned that the wall thickness between the bottom of my cutout here and my hole is too thin, as well as between the hole and the bottom of the part is too thin. So first, from the evaluate ribbon, I will select thickness analysis. Then I'm going to come over here and tell it what my target thickness is. I'll make it 50 thou. And I'm going to tell it to show me the thin regions. I can also turn on show thick regions and then set the thick region limit. But for now, I'm only interested in things that are too thin. So I'm going to put this back. I'm going to leave the checkbox enabled for full color range and to keep the part transparency on. And I'm going to tell it to calculate the model. It'll take a minute here to do the calculations. And then when we're done, I have two radio buttons. I can show the color continuous or Discrete. I'm going to put it back to continuous so we have a continuous gradual change of color rather than the discrete. And I see from the range the blue color shows me what's around the 50 thou mark that I'm worried about. And then this color coding shows me what's below. Obviously I'm not going to pay attention to the edge of the hole here. What I am interested in is out here where all this green is. Now you'll notice wherever I hover my mouse, it tells me the exact thickness of that location. So in this area, I have around 30 thou thickness and that does bother me a bit. Then we can see the color change as we come up here. We're getting into 40, 50, 60, 70 thou. So that's getting better. And if I rotate around, I can see I have a similar problem here in the bottom. So as I move over again, I'm looking at around 30, 40 thou thickness everywhere. So I'm going to rotate back. I'm going to scroll down. If I want, I can edit this color coding, but I'm fine with it. I can also change the resolution. So if I move the resolution over here to the highest resolution and calculate it one more time, it'll take a bit longer to calculate. And now let's perform that calculation. I just have a more accurate model of the thickness. Once again, I'm going to scroll down. I can also specify specific faces and do just a local analysis there. I'm not interested in that for this part. And when I'm done, I'll just close this and my part goes back to looking normal.